Hi, welcome to a time of meditation. I'm so glad you can join me for these holy moments together where we can intermingle spiritually beyond time and space. This morning's meditation is about namaste. Namaste. To set the tone for our time together, we have some beautiful music by Karen Drucker. You are the face of God. Please listen to this and know the truth for you and for me. Take a deep breath. Feel your heart open to absorb all the love there is. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me. You are the face of God. You are the face of God. I hold you in my heart. You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face of God Tu es l'image de Dieu I hold you in my heart Tu es l'image de l'amour You are a part of me You are the face of God you are the face of God To say la luce di Dio I hold you in my heart To say il volto dell'amore You are a part of me You are the face of God You are the face you as you are. So today as we move into that introspective time, we are going to dwell on the concept of namaste. 
During this pandemic, it has become the perfect greeting of one another. In Sanskrit, it simply means, I bow to you. Our thumbs go on our breastbone near our heart, our hands together, and we lean into it. So let us just take a moment to practice namaste. Is there somebody with you? Namaste to them. If you are sitting by yourself, close your eyes and bring to your mind any human face. Somebody you know or don't know, somebody you've heard of, just bring that face to your mind and bow to it. Namaste. Namaste. For my bow to you, we have grown in understanding of the depth of this that we often want to say, I bow to the divine in you. Again, with eyes closed, bring a mind, a picture of someone's face. Someone you're close to, somebody you do not even know. And look at them sincerely as you say, I bow to the divine in you. Feel that recognition of seeing the divine in another. For we cannot see in another that which is not already within ourselves. Every time we affirm and honor another by taking the time to behold the divine within them, little by little, we recognize more of the divine within ourselves. Namaste. As we repeat our process, we expand in our understanding just a little bit more. The divine in me bows to the divine light within you. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. As we recognize this light in others, we behold the light in ourselves, not in comparison, but in connection. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. And in that bowing is a sacred trust. For from times of old, a bare neck was vulnerable to the sword. But as we behold the divine light, we behold the divine protection and the divine oneness within us all when we can see one another as the light the light that we emit, the light that we reflect, the light that others emit, and the light that others reflect. Namaste is a sacred hello. I bow to the divinity within you from the divinity within me. I bow to the divinity within you from the divinity within me. There is no caste system, no hierarchy. An incredible expression of oneness. Deepak Chokra said, that namaste means the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. The divine in me honors the divine in you. So let us create even a closer interaction as we affirm, I, the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. 
The divine in me honors the divine in you. This field of remarkable joy of an expression of life that is so intermingled, so honored, so without hesitation, so gracious and joyful that it brings a smile not only to the corners of your lips, but to the depths of your heart. The divine light in me honors the divine light in you. As we feel this interchange of energy, this matching of consciousness, this willingness to behold the very highest and best of another, and at the same time recognizing the highest and best in ourselves. Ask yourself, can you truly recognize a fellow human being as a life form that is worthy of dignity, bonded in shared suffering and possessing a shared capacity for transcendence. The divine light, the Christ mind in me, recognizes the divine light, the Christ mind in you. As we hold consciousness in this place of oneness, We understand that what this brings us is a sense of peace, unlike separateness. A sense of peace, which helps us remain in the divine mind. Bring me back to center. Bring me back to flow. My soul surrenders, peace is all I know. Namaste. Bring me back to center. Bring me back to flow. Now my soul surrenders. Peace.
This is Unity On Demand. You can binge watch us all together, or you can watch us in segments as your schedule allows. And if you're watching us on Sunday, join us at 1030 for a live Zoom fellowship time. God bless. Namaste.